Hey there, everybody. I wanted to go over some transducer stuff. Transducers basically fall into three categories. Curved array, sector array, and linear array transducers. We have an example of two curved transducers. Okay. We got the C16, which goes up to 6 uh, megahertz. C29, which goes up to uh, 9 megahertz. All right, the C29, I don't really use it that much. I think this one is uh, great for all of your abdominal needs, obstetrics. Even uh, if you're doing an appendix on, on a bigger person and you're having trouble seeing the appendix, you can try this. I mean, most of the time, it'll probably not be successful, but still, you can try that. But this is the main abdominal probe. So liver, gallbladder, renal, pelvic, uterus, ovaries, all those categories. It's a convex array, also known as curvilinear, curved linear array, or just we just I just call it a curved probe. Okay, then we go into the, the linear probes. This one is the 9L. This is great for vascular. Um, carotids, venous dopplers, any vascular you might do. Uh, you could also probably use this on a thyroid and a person with a you know with a larger neck or a pretty impressive uh, goiter pretty good probe goes up to nine megahertz i use this probe a lot also in pediatrics you use this for abdominal you can use it on kidneys this is my go-to probe for appendix ultrasounds i always use this for appendix get really nice pictures with this another in the linear category is the ml615 this is uh, my number one go-to for thyroid ultrasound also, neck ultrasounds when we're looking for fibromatosis coli. Or you could also use it in pediatrics for bowel, uh, really early babies, hips. The, the 9L you could, uh, is what I typically use for hips, either for effusion or for developmental dysplasia. But this is a secondary option for uh, premature babies, and you get really, really nice pictures. It goes up to 15 megahertz. And the, the resolution is just amazing with this. You could also use, you also use it for superficial vascular. If you need a cephalic vein or radial veins or anything like that, this would come in handy. Okay, here we have another linear probe. This is the L818i, also known as the hockey stick because it looks like a, like a hockey stick. I love this probe. Anything really superficial, fingers, musculoskeletal, eyelid, lip, any soft tissue and a superficial structure. This is amazing. I've scanned baby brains on, on extreme preemies. We're talking about like 25, 26 weeks. And the resolution you can get on brains is amazing. I posted a video showing the different layers of the Dura the other day. And I used, this is the probe I used. And the imaging is just, is just impressive. Lesions on the face, uh, pilometricomas. Um, you can use this on the dorsalis pedis artery on the foot or radio arteries, also cephalic veins, and it's just, you get really, really, really beautiful images with this. I also use this, uh, we do vasculars, arterials and venous dopplers on babies here a lot. And I'm talking about like premature babies, uh, congenital cardiac uh, infants, and I use this for their legs because their legs are tiny. And I use this for the arterial and venous of the lower extremity as well. Uh, much better resolution than the 9 or, or, and the 15 is just too large to use on their, their, their tiny limbs. Okay, here we have another curvy linear probe. This is a C310. It goes up to 10 megahertz. Um, one thing that I do notice is that since it's, it's got a very uh, pronounced curve, if you don't have a good amount of gel, you're going to get some dropout from these parts because they don't make contact with the skin. Uh, if it was a sector it'd be better because it's flat and it, it, you know, it lays flat on the skin. So it's a lot easier to get good coverage. But this is very good for brains. The image quality is much better. The spatial resolution is much better than the sector while using it for brains, which is sec the sector is S410, I believe. Uh, these go up to 10 megahertz. I usually use it in the six to eight megahertz range. Really beautiful images, go to for neonatal head. You could also use this for pediatric abdomen. Um, you'll have the same problem with the, with the extreme curve. And if you're not using enough gel, you'll have dropout. 
you actually have that problem with the big curve as well, especially when you're using the spleen. This one, when you're using when you're on the spleen, uh, if you don't have enough gel on the corners, you'll have dropout on your image, and you'll need to remedy that by putting more gel. Now, rounding it off with a a sector probe. So here's a sector, which is the MS M5S. I use these for transcranial Dopplers. You could also use this for echo. I don't do echo, but if I did echo, I assume I can use this for echo. Um, it is a cardiac probe, but it's really good for transcranial Dopplers. It goes all the way down to like one to two megahertz, and that, that's good enough to um, to uh, go through the bone of the temporal bone. Um, obviously, the image quality is not going to be as great as our other curvilinear probes, but this is the go-to for TCDs. I have used this on really big patients um, to get like kidneys and I've been successful uh, whereas the 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 C16 might not penetrate this one definitely penetrates but that's only in in a certain cases so that's the sector array probe cardiac probe we use it for TCDs or transcranial dopplers yeah every probe has its application but don't be afraid to use probes like this is considered a vascular probe but you can use it for soft tissues on bigger people. I've used this probe on obstetrics before to get a profile on a very early pregnancy, very slim woman. And the, um, the images you can get with this is amazing. Of course, that's not your typical use for this probe, but always think outside the box when using probes. Just because a probe is considered a vascular probe doesn't mean you have to exclusively use it for vascular. This I use this when I do transcranial Dopplers. I use this to get the ophthalmic artery. So I put just a tiny bit of gel and rub it here, and just just to pretty much make it glistening. So there's I don't want any gel getting in their eye, and you put it on the eyelid, and the the images you get of the ophthalmic are very very nice. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys found it useful. I just wanted to go over the basics and the basic three types of transducers or ultrasound probes, which would be curved, convex sector, vector, or phased array, and linear. So stay tuned for more videos and don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and also click the notification bell. Thank you, bye.